Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and in this video we're going to talk about division and in particular dividing by 1, 10, 100 and 1000. So what I'd like you to be able to do at the end of this video, as I said, is to be able to divide by 1, 10, 100 and 1000 to understand how those divisions are working and maybe to be able, and to, be able to do those uh, fairly quickly. Okay. To start with, like I did in the multiplying video, I'd like you to just take a second on your calculator to work the following out. I'm going to show the answers in two more seconds. Okay, the answers are as follows. And you will notice in a similar way I talked about in the multiplication video, here I have the num these numbers and I have the exact same numbers um, here, so I'm doing divisions on uh, two similar sets of numbers, and in the first case, the numbers that I'm dividing are two, four, five, six, eight, and nine, and in the second case, all the numbers are multiples of ten, uh, multiples and factors of ten. So include one, ten, a hundred, ten, a thousand, etc. Now the interesting thing here is when I divide by any number that's not uh, a power of ten, I get the digits I get back don't look anything in relation to the question. Here I started with a 4 and I got a 2. Here I started with a 4 and a 3, I got a 10, uh, a 75. 4 and a 3, I got an 8 and a 6. 4 and a 3, I got a 7, 1, 7 recurrent. 4 and a 3, I got 53.75, etc. However, when I divide by a power of 10, I get the same digits in my answer. So this is interesting. I had a 4 in my original question, I get a 4 in my answer. I had a 4 and a 3, I get a 4 and a 3. I had a 4 and a 3, I get a 4 and a 3. 4 and a 3, 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 4 and a 3. So just like with multiplication, dividing by 1, 10, 100 and 1000 is really straightforward because I get the same digits in my answer, it's just a difference of where the decimal place is in that answer. So um, one thing I'd like to just draw out before I move on, division by 1 is special, 6 divided by 1 is 6, 63 divided by 1 is 63, 6 0.3 divided by 1 is 6.3, and 6300.12 divided by 1 is 6300.12. And 1 is a special number, just like it was in multiplication. When you divide any number by 1, you, you get the same answer as the number you divided by 1, so in these two cases here. So that's just something to point out. Now I want to move on to dividing by 10, 100, and 1000, and talking about place value. So... Imagine I was doing 600 divided by 10. Okay, so that's, I've got 600s, I've got no 10s, and I've got uh, no 1s, and I'm going to divide that by 10. Now you should know the answer to this is 60. And how we can visualise this is, say if I had uh, the 600 here, the digits are moving one place to the right when I'm dividing by 10. So I'd get 60.0 and I'd just drop the point zero. the answer would be 60. So when I'm dividing by 10, the digits shift to the right and by one place. 600 divided by 100, we know the answer to that is 6. But let's see what's going on in the place value table. We have 600 and we're dividing it by 100 and we get the answer 6. So the digits must be shifting one place, two place to the left and we can drop these two zeros here. So when we're dividing by 100 we seem to be moving the digits left, uh, sorry right by two places. And you can see what's going on here. 6,000 divided by 1,000 is clearly 6. We know that. So let's see what's going on. We've got 6,000s, no hundreds, no tens, and no ones. And let's repeat that number down here. So 6,000. How do we get the answer 6? Well, the digits seem to, seem to be shifting one place, two places, and three places. 
and we would just drop these zeros because they don't add anything to our answer. So when we're dividing by a thousand, it seems that we're shifting to the right by three places. And we can summarize this in the following little picture here. If we are dividing by 10, what we're doing is we move the digits to the right by one. If we're dividing by 100, we're moving the digits to the right by two. And if we're dividing by 1,000, we're moving the digits to the right by three. So let's use this idea to do some slightly more complicated questions. Here we go. Let's 5,900 divided by 100. So let's write those numbers in. So we've got 5,900 as follows. And we're dividing that number by 100. So we're going to move the digits two places to the right, one and two. 59.00, but we drop the zeros, they add nothing to our answer, and the answer is just 59. Let's do another one. 590 divided by 100. So we've got 500s, 9 tens, and no ones. And we're dividing that by 100. So we're going to move it two spaces to the right, one space and two space. We get 5.90. We can drop the zero as it adds nothing to our answer, and the answer is 5.9. Let's do another one. 590 divided by 1,000 here, so 500s, 9 tens, and no ones. And we're going to divide this by 1,000. So we're going to move the digits to the right by 3, 1 space, 2 space, and 3 space. Now we tend not to write 0 0.590. Firstly, we drop the zero at the end. We tend to put a place value holder in there just so we can clearly identify that this is a decimal and we would write 0 0.59. So 0 0.59. If we had written 0 0.59, uh, it may confuse people there. Is that just a dot on the page or is that uh, a comma or is that just you know something you didn't mean so we tend to put the zero in there just to make it absolutely clear that it's um, into it's less than one It's 0 0.59 right 59 divided by a thousand so we've got five tens and nine ones this time and we're going to divide by a thousand so the digits shift three spaces to the right one space two space and three space now again you can see if I wrote my answer as dot with a gap 59, it would be confusing. So I put a place value holder in here, a zero here and a zero here, just to make it clear what number we're dealing with. So we'd put a zero there and we'd put a zero there and the answer would be 0 0.059. Let's do another one, 5.9 divided by 100 here. So we've got five uh, ones and nine tenths. So we're going to divide that by a hundred. So we're going to move it two spaces to the right, one, two, and we put our place value holders in just as before. So 0 0.059 would be our answer, 0 0.059. And you get the, 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 the picture here. Um, let's do one more, sorry, uh, zero, zero ones, uh, five tenths, and nine hundredths, and we're dividing that by 10. So we're gonna move the digits uh, one space to the right as follows, and to make it clear what number it is, we put our a zero placeholder in there. So we'd get 0, 0, uh, sorry, 0 0.059, yes. Right, I'd like you to have a go at these nine questions then, based on what I've just done. I'll show you the answers in 10 seconds. Okay, so here are the answers, and hopefully you were able to do those with the grids I gave you. But now, we really need to be able to do these questions without a grid pre-given grid for us, so I just want to show you how to do that and let you practice that. So, 434 divided by 100. Now, I would always do some separate working. I would do as follows. 
I know I've my original number is 434 and I'm dividing it by 100. Um, uh, my decimal point would be there. I'm going to put my decimal point there. I'm going to put my place value holders here as follows. And what I do is I'm dividing by 100, so I know I'm moving the digits two spaces to the right. I might st I'll start with that digit there. It won't be there. It will be one space, two space. It would be here, and so the answer would be 4.34. So 4.34, our answer would be. This is sort of a makeshift place value table, but it's easy. You don't need to have the the columns labelled or anything. Just make it nice and easy as follows. Let's do another one just to check we can do it. 43 divided by 1,000. So 43, I'll put your decimal point after it. And I'm going to put my decimal point there. And I'm going to put some place value holders just so I can count where I'm ending up. So I'm dividing by 1,000. So I'm moving three spaces to the right. The digits are moving three spaces to the right. The four won't be here. It will move one space, two space, three space. The four will go there. The three must therefore go there, and we must fill in our zeros in front of it. So 0 0.043 would, uh, would be our answer. Okay, let's just double check everything's going well. We can do another one. Uh, 0 0.64, so 0 0.64, our decimal place is here this time. I'm going to write it here, and I'm going to draw some place value holders here for us. And I'm dividing by 10, so I'm moving one space to the right. The 6 here would therefore move here. So I'd put my 6 there, my 4 would therefore go there, and I'd fill up the place values with zeros. So the answer is 0 0.064. Time for you to try a few questions using that method. Here you go. In 10 seconds, I'll show the answer. And here are the answers to these questions. And hopefully now you are able to divide by 1, uh, 10, 100 and 1000. Thanks loads for watching.